Welcome, it's a special day. I miss the old mango, the drunken goat mango. Bird is the word mango. Spit in my ass mango. Wait, okay, hold on, where? Don't know why the AI is deciding to talk about me in an old folks home. That makes no sense. Seems there's a cog in the system. Something's wrong with the AI. I am doing an update today on the Deep Leffen Twitter. And you're probably wondering, what do you mean update hugs? When did you ever check out the Deep Leffen Twitter? What is Deep Leffen? Well, eight months ago, I had a video where I checked out every single tweet from the Deep Leffen account. If you don't know, Deep Leffen is a bot account. It's got some kind of algorithm or AI and it's modeled after Leffen. It kind of posts as if it were Leffen and it's pretty damn close. It's actually a fire account. I don't know if it's gotten better or worse over the over the last few months that I haven't seen it because I muted it. I muted it because I want my reaction to be fresh, not because I don't like Deep Leffen. So I haven't seen anything since those eight months now. Okay, so we can start here. This is fine. I'm sorry, but if you haven't unlocked Slippery Kong or DLC guy at this point, maybe it's time to put down the controller and start labbing a career in data science at DeVry University. Ooh, that's ice cold, man. I'm gonna start dissing people with that. They got an online course on how to read, which you seem to be struggling with. Why is this diss so eloquent? Okay, and then we get to here. I met Hugs at an old folks home. He told me it was nice to finally be respected by his peers. Respecting elders, peers, Elders being my peers, it's like this thing, this thing's really learning. He had taken up a lover who was still in her prime. She was 80 and dying. He kept saying, I'm going to wobble her, dude. I'm going to wobble her. And I'm going to wobble her friend. So I remember reading the uncut. So every once in a while, the Deep Leffin account just releases the paragraphs of nonsense that the AI comes up with. And from there, the tweet is curated. So there was one specific moment I remember. I won't read the entire uh, uncut, but I will read one part. I met Hugs at an old folks home, so this is where the tweet came from. All right, I'll skip over here. I'm gonna wobble her, dude. I'm gonna wobble her, and then I'm gonna wobble her friend. He told me, I'm gonna marry that girl. She was as good as dead. He said, I'm gonna marry this girl, and then I'm gonna make, I'm gonna take her CRT and her copy of that all-star guide that tells you how to unlock all the DLC. A few weeks later at the funeral, Hugs had a few words to say. What did I say at the funeral? He said, I really love that I feel little remorse about this whole thing. <laughs> I got a Nintendo for my birthday, and I think I'm going to do that for a bit. That is the worst eulogy of all time. How do you just go up and give a eulogy after someone died and said, you know what? I don't feel that bad about this whole thing. I got a Nintendo back home. I think I'm just going to go home and play that for a bit. Damn. Hugs didn't care because he was a young buck. True. Finally. The AI catches up to reality. He had that young dude dick game that made all the ladies forget about his GSP. My GSP is kind of low. But that dick game fresh. Unfortunately, the only thing he had going for him was his cool dick. That's what they tell me. I've been told that by many a women. Hugs, you were literally worthless. Aside from your cool dick. It was the coolest dick I've ever seen. All right, <laughs> Deep Levin agrees. <laughs> I'm not sure if Hugs was really smart or if he was just another dude with a cool dick. How is this not the tweet? I... <laughs> Alright, so this one uh, wasn't on the original video, but I had seen it. So it's not completely new to me. I think it was at this point that I decided to possibly start muting the account. So it would be fresh to me. Alright, now some of these are going to be hits and some of them are not. So we'll just see. Okay. LOL, just spent 15 years getting pretty darn good at a children's party game. That got a lot of likes. I don't think that one's that great. I guess it is spitting. If any of you clowns show up to my funeral talking shit about how this dude probably had a huge dick or this dude played melee like someone with a very strong dick or how many dicks did this guy have, was it the regular amount? I'll be upset, but I will let you touch one. <laughs> well said. What happened to this account? It just, it got real gross real quick. It got very horny. Dude, I think we need the horny police on Deep Leffin. 
Can a can an AI learn horny? Like every other being on this planet. That's a fire one. That's a really good one. All right, let's keep it going. Yeah, yeah, that one I never read. So these are all getting completely new to me at this point. For me, Smash has never been about being the best in your neighborhood. Or even being the best of all time. It's about being the best version of you that you can be. Having a good time and forgiving yourself for being a toxic asshole because your banjo is low-key kind of nice. <laughs> Dude! How are the punchlines so good? Tell your opponent before a match that you're going to win to lower their expectations. If they say, let's just both do our best and try to have fun, you can say something cool like, people talk shit behind your back and I'm only telling you that because I respect you. <laughs> Holy shit, I gotta try that. I honestly thought that after I muted it, that the Deep Leffen Bot would go downhill, but so far it's kind of fire. And then the Deep Leffen Bot actually donated to charity. Not curated, I, I believe this was the human behind the account, which was actually really dope. Like, how's an AI doing good shit for, for humanity here? By the way, all your mains are toxic as f unless I'm playing as them. In which case, camping is actually kind of sick, and these projectiles don't throw themselves. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I tell myself all the time. Someone's hating on you for camping. You tell them, bro, these projectiles aren't going to throw themselves. That's a quote, baby. Dude, how is this account? How did this account stay fire? How about instead of spending all your time tech chasing, you spend a little more time chasing your dreams. And while you're doing that, I'll be carrying your ass to the blast zone. True. You could follow your dreams, but you're still gonna lose to Deep Left. I'm gonna go one at a time like this, so you guys can't see any previews. So you're seeing it as a surprise along with me. Okay. Can you feel it? That's the weight of futility. The clock is ticking. Your heart is racing. And you've begun to doubt yourself. A terrible, oppressive thought enters your mind. He's going to win this. And of course you're right. You were right the minute you began doubting. That's not funny, that's just real talk. Damn. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> this is exactly what you need to avoid when you're playing in tournament. These kinds of thoughts happen all the time. There's even thoughts that happen where I'm going to win this, and th that's a creeping thought that you want to avoid too. You want to be kind of free of that. When the dopamine subsides and the excitement of women... Uh, uh, the excitement of winning fades, one thing becomes palpably clear. It is the bitter taste of defeat the mind-numbing monotony of the grind, and the maddening despair of falling short over and over again. That makes winning worth wanting. What happened to this account? Over the last two or so messages, it's gone deep into the forbidden wisdom, and then now it's just getting, like, philosophical now. It's like it's trying to, to give you life advice now. And honestly, it's pretty good life advice. It's not, like, a, a mistake. It's, it's not bad advice. Okay. I miss the old mango. The drunken goat mango. Bird is the word mango. Spit in my ass mango. Wait, okay, hold on. Where? I don't remember that mango. <laughs> hey, you might be wondering how I got here. How I got to talk about mango spitting in my ass. You like my record scratch sound? How is this a bot? I hate the new mango. Tropical fruit mango. Hands full of goo mango. Please send me nudes mango? This is so good because like... As a human account, this would be fire, but all the comments would be like, delete this, right? It'd be getting ratioed by delete this. Dude, this bot's getting horny, man. I'm telling you, dude. <laughs> AI can learn horny. This is blowing my mind. If you're gonna learn everything, you're gonna learn horny. Hbox told me he smokes to cool off. I told him that he can cool off by not smoking. He said, buddy, it sounds like you need a smoke. He laughed and laughed. He took me to a lake. He said, I'm going to give you to the count of 10, and then I'm gonna start shooting. <laughs> oh my, uh, dude, I'm not gonna lie to you, chat. I really did not think that the Leffen bot was holding up. But you know why I thought that? You know why? Because I have these expectations for humans. Humans eventually run out of ideas and they get a little stale, right? Now I'm realizing this is no human being, it's a bot. I asked Hbox for an autograph at a party. He squeezed my lips and said, shh. Not clutch. <laughs> Not clutch for him to ask for that autograph. True! I'm gonna do that next time a fan asks me for an autograph. I'm just... Not clutch, my friend. Not clutch. He said, 
Remember that time in high school I farted in class? I said, oh yeah? He gazed into the stars. He said, that fart is still there, bro. It's still fucking there. Okay. The worst part about having elite gamer genes is losing all your friends because you're not physically capable of playing a game casually. That's... Is that... Is that me? I am actually not capable of playing a game casually. Uh, I'll tell you that much. I'm actually not capable. I'm not really losing my friends, though. I'm not really losing my friends, but friends eventually stop wanting to play with me. Okay. I found Hbox hanging off a tree at the park. He was there for hours. I told him to climb down. He said, I wish I had your courage. I said, it's a three foot drop Hbox. Just let go. I started to walk away. He said, hey bud, could you bring me some pancakes on your way back? Uh, this is uh, this one's not as funny as the other ones, but it's just Hbox being a goof. I prefer dark Hbox on these tweets. All right, how the fuck am I the bad guy for selling tickets to my sets? Real talent doesn't perform for free. Use coupon code BIGLEFT at checkout to get $5 off my next set. And remember, early subscribers get to support the bulk of my body weight as I crowd surf after every win. <laughs> Has anyone ever crowd surfed in a melee after a melee win? The only player who could legitimately jump into a crowd. There's two. I think there are two. It's Mango and S2J. That's it. I don't think any other player could jump off the stage and be that certain that the crowd is gonna hold them up. Mewtwo King can. Mewtwo King can for sure. Yeah, Mewtwo King definitely can. Nah, it's it's only those three. Friendly reminder that even the best opponents will have habits that you can exploit, like leaving their homes unlocked or sleeping with the lights off. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. I met Mewtwo King at an aquarium I was working at. He said, hey, how much do I have to pay you to let me swim in the shark tank? I said, Mewtwo King, I respect you, but you know you wouldn't last 10 minutes in that cage. He let out a deep sigh and said, would you say that to 2007 Mewtwo King? That's... <laughs> Ain't a damn thing that could stop 2007 Mewtwo King, and don't you fucking forget it. Kinda crazy how something as simple as three stalking someone with their main, teabagging after every kill, saving a replay and distributed distributing it on social media can ruin a friendship real f <laughs> kind of crazy kind of wild honestly you do have to be a little soft for this to ruin your friendship if you're friends you should probably already be expecting this type of behavior let's continue i met mewtwo king on a cruise he kept saying we're at the mercy of the tides my boy he walked up to me and whispered i hope you can wave dash smart guy because the tides look hungry I said, you're scaring me, Mewtwo King. He said, it's just a prank, bro. Drowning is just a prank. <laughs> I like that one. I like that one. I mean, it's a little off because Mewtwo King would never talk like this ever. And there's not even a part of Mewtwo King that's like this. Like, like there's always some like truth to the characters in, the, in, in this lore. But Mewtwo King so far seems completely out of character. Like, for example, my lore was very accurate because I was talking about how I had a cool dick. I got a cool dick. A train is barreling towards a Sonic and Ness co-main. You can divert the train to track two where you have jokingly tied your bracket demon. There's also a fat man on a bridge who, who you have every reason to believe is kind and loving. How swiftly do you kill him? This is the worst moral conundrum that I've ever read. I, I can't pick. Just discovered a new tech. Turn tap jump on. If you lose a match, tell the TOs that your opponent was recruiting ISIS mid-game. CGI video evidence to this effect. Set up a GoFundMe to get easy cash from idiots. Crack open a cold one and enjoy the ride. Cheers, King! You deserve this. God knocks on my door and asks if he can vape with me. I pretend I'm not there because that dude has been kind of a dick lately. Honestly, 2020, I mean, uh, this is real. The book was way better, I tell my date, hoping to impress her. Oh, I didn't know Finding Nemo was based on a book, she replies. Oh, it is, I tell her. And it's a chapter book, too. So it's actually pretty hard. What? What is this? This one kind of popped off. I don't really, I don't really love it. I've played more Smash in my life lifetime then many of you will play all week. So let me tell you something. 
You can't improve while playing Tilted. Put the controller down, take a breath, and try to remember where your opponent lives and which of his family members he loves the most. Ah, there you go. Welcome back, Deep Left. Alright, Deep Left is back. I sure hope sex tur turns out to be overrated, so I'm not missing out on much. <laughs> That's just a good normie tweet. Holy shit, it actually is the most retweeted tweet, right? Pretty suspicious that when you Google Hungrybox's complicity in the 1911 Triangle Shirtwaist Factory Fire, absolutely nothing comes up. And yet, if his careless pop-offs didn't retroactively kill those kids, why is he going to such great lengths? To bury the evidence. I ask myself that every day. The judge announces that I am freed without bail based on my extraordinary gaming achievement. I turn to my parents and say, fuck you for never believing in me. I feel the handcuffs go back on. The judge says, oh, I'm sorry. We thought you were mango. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that is fire. A hugs one. Hugs was wearing a pair of Air Jacksons, which was his term for a burlap sack wrapped around his feet with a rubber band. He was wearing a shirt that says, this is the shirt Mango uses to wipe his ass. This... What happened to my lore? I went from guy with a cool dick to like wearing burlap sacks on my feet and using shirts that Mango uses to wipe his ass. Something happened here. Something went drastically wrong. What? Was I down bad at this time? It was the pandemic. It kind of makes sense. The best part about having sex for the first time is racing out of bed to post about it on social media. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's really cool. So this, so in the Deep Left and Arc, he was a virgin. I'm assuming now, yeah, all right. This is what I thought would happen in Deep Left. I thought it would fall off a little bit, and it kind of did here. <laughs> you, pal, the only reason I lost that game is because you're fundamentally better than me at Smash. Your habits are strictly superior to my own, and your gamer sense is off the charts. Full disclosure, I did eat a lot of peyote before the set, but I'm pretty sure that helped. <laughs> all right, that was good. Back in action. Friendly reminder! You don't need to be better than your opponents to trash talk, talk them. True! You are free to have any secondary, but always remember to main yourself. That way, when you inevitably let your parents down, you can blame it on your garbage character. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. There's a pun there. The pun's good. Blaming it on your character? Like your character or your character. That's bars. Dark bars, but it's bars. Boy, oh boy, what am I getting myself into? I mutter aloud as I accidentally punch a walrus in the throat, killing it instantly. <laughs> I, can't, I can't tell if Deep Left in his back or if he's still depressed. I can't tell. This is right in the middle. A deep hunger nod at my consciousness. A desire to see the world. Unmade. In this twisted madness, I saw a hideous vision of things to come and delivered myself voluntarily to the blast zone so that everyone could be spared. My mom nodded. So that's why you got three stock? That's pretty good. I think this is a little underrated. I think it deserves more likes than this. Uh, if you find yourself getting worked up from Smash Online, consider channeling your frustration into something more productive, like your fists. Good life advice. After a few DLC, I'm officially done with Nintendo. And unless they release new character skins, or a new game, or downloadable frame data for my main, or custom character weapons, or Nintendo brand Pokewater that tastes like shit, I'm not giving them a fucking dime. Yes! Deep Leffen is in on the free melee, free smash movement. That's what I like to hear. There are two types of people in the world, those that sit back in camp and those that hold forward. And then there's me, knee deep in a tub of petroleum, fucked up on Jamba Juice, just wondering when we're supposed to smash our brothers. <laughs> if you're not playing mind games, you're not playing Smash. As a top player, it is your responsibility to figure out how to get inside your opponent's head. I find that a stainless steel bone cleaver works best. Oh! But if you're feeling particularly cruel, consider teabagging. Okay. <laughs> Smash is not a game of rock, paper, scissors. 
It is more like a game of Milton Bradley's Gator Golf. Yeah, it might seem like you're having fun, but at the end of the day, it's all just bullshit crocodile gimmicks and a meta that hasn't evolved since 1995. True. I highly doubt the Gator Golf meta has evolved. Mewtwo King, The Machine, Cold, Calculating, Mango, The Serial Killer, Unpredictable, In Your Head, Armada, The Jazz Pianist, Improvisational, Technically Precise, So Many Beautiful play Ways to Play This Game, and Yet You Still Choose to Play Like a Jackass. Okay, are these accurate? Words of advice, boys, if you got it, flaunt it, even if what you got is a spammable projectile, a profoundly impoverished understanding of the neutral game, and a micro penis. <laughs> I found a rare 1987 screenshot of Santa fucking every single elf in his workshop, and I'm starting to wonder if maybe we've been rooting for the wrong guy this whole time. <laughs> I asked Hungrybox, what can we do about climate change? He punched me in the penis and said, don't you mean what can't we do about climate change? I said, not really. Hungrybox punched my penis once again and whispered, that's for not believing yourself, little guy. <laughs> He's back! Hungrybox was on my college campus recruiting for Moloch. One of the cool things about Moloch is that all he asks for is your blind devotion and a notarized letter from your bank attesting to the fact that you are not on some bitch shit because you don't f with that. Underrated. Chat, I really don't know. Am I getting lit and I'm finding all of these hilarious? Or are these just good? I think these are good. I like the old man Jenkins arc and I like the Moloch arc. I don't know about you guys. The year is 20XX. Everyone plays Ness. Life is suffering and the livi living envy the dead. In the perpetual gloom of this stillborn planet, I search for a home I know I will not find. A scream pierces the endless cacophony of death and decay. A cry that haunts my dreams. PK fire. This is good. Right? Everyone agrees, right? I'm not still lit. This is a fire one, right? The more you look to others for validation, the more you'll feel empty and disappointed. That's why the only person you need validation from is yourself. And let's face it, buddy. That's all you could have hoped for anyway. Okay, the last part, dark. But the rest is pretty damn deep. And actually true. I've been thinking about this lately. All the dolphins under the sea propel themselves out of the ocean and onto a truck bound for death. Sorry, dolphins, but you just boarded the wrong fucking truck. Okay. <laughs> okay. My kids ask, why is the world so bad, Dad? Aw. I tossed them in the trunk for the third time today because we live in Europe, kids. That's why. Okay. <laughs> I hate myself, I grumble, as I throw a rock into the lake. Then I stop. I see my reflection in the water, and it looks beautiful. For the first time, I think, oh, never mind. That's just a gross piece of shit floating in the lake, courtesy of Old Man Jenkins. He's back! Dude, Old Man Jenkins needs more love on these tweets. Nobody likes him. GME, the ultimate homie stock. Yep. All right, that's just a good tweet. Boy, oh boy, we're really in it for it this time. In for it this time. I can't read. I tell my wife as I lay down in the cereal aisle at the supermarket, completely naked. <laughs> okay. Mango, Hungrybox Marquez, approaches the stage toting his signature double barrel shotgun. <laughs> he fires 22 rounds into the audience, killing everyone. Not cool, I tell <laughs> Mango. But I'm quickly chastised by his fans who remind me that Mango is just as afraid of us as we are of him. Okay. <laughs> Uh-oh, another Mewtwo King one. Okay. Mewtwo King told me he was a magician. He said, close your eyes and count to 10. I counted to 10. But by the time I opened my eyes, he had disappeared out of my life forever. The only thing he left behind was a tuft of his hair and a note that said, real magic is learning to let go. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to cry. I punch my penis. This has to be an old man Jenkins tweet. It has to be. I punch my penis until I'm not feeling well. I say, sorry, Mr. Melee. We're going to have to call off grand finals. Penis is acting up again. Not an old man Jenkins tweet. I'm disappointed. 
The moonlight shines down on old man Jenkins. He's back. And what's what what shenanigans is old man Jenkins going to be up to? The moonlight shines down on old man Jenkins and I. Wrestling naked in a dumpster. Fighting over a rare 1996 copy of Melee for Dogs. Yet, amidst all the chaos and wreckage, I can't help but take solace in knowing that the garbage boy in me is slowly turning into a garbage man. One of the cool things about Smash... Alright, we're back to talking about Smash. Cool, cool, cool. Is that you don't have to be good at the game to win. You don't even have to be good at video games. You can just be an ordinary, dirty trash person with a brain full of hot dogs and a body that says, My body is full of hot dogs, please help. Yeah. Oh yeah, easy, for sure. Yes, there's a lot of players that have that exact vibe about them. There's no, yeah, there's nothing weird about it. A couple of Ice Climbers players, for sure. My son just joked about my gaming talent. I don't want to kill him, but for fuck's sake, dude. <laughs> yeah. Show some fucking respect. Okay, we're nearing the end. The worst part about birthdays has to be when Carlos, your bracket demon, shows up to your house with a fistful of grandpa's ashes and makes you eat shit in front of your family. Oh, shucks, I hate it when that happens. Not sure if your stick sensitivity is too high or you're just excited to see me, but either way, the cops should be here soon. Sounds like old man Jenkins or Carlos. Oh, is that it? Is that what I ended on? I guess there hasn't been a post in a while. Why not? Oh, I'm involved in the court one? Interesting. Okay. All right. I look forward to reading that. Peace. Good night. Thanks for hanging out. Later. See ya. Okay. I miss the old mango. The drunken goat mango. Bird is the word mango. Spit in my ass mango. I hate the new mango. Tropical fruit mango. Hands full of goo mango. Please send me nudes mango? 